Hey guys, Dapu7, some newer images, some weird images here with 3 Eye Atlas. The last that we were told this thing was potentially breaking apart, disintegrating as it went around the sun. It seemed to kick off some kind of plume in seven jets, at least seven different jets, that were really suspicious because the debris and the plume that it was kicking off was so large that they say that 3 Eye Atlas should have been 16 times larger. And that it should have had a tail long before it even came around the sun. So it started with these jets and they said it could be exploding. There's no way much is going to be left if that much debris came off of it, right? Well, as the angry astronaut said, there seems to be a tight core nucleus still there, as you can see. And that makes no sense to many people out there seeming that this thing just kicked off more debris than it even had in terms of mass, calculated mass. The only other way, again, it always goes back to this, is if it was technological and it was debris created on a technological scale. The, the equation is different and that much debris can be produced by something that large if it's trying to kick a thruster on, so to speak, they say. Regardless, it's still there, and it looks pretty wild. The image on the left, and shout-outs to Dobsonian Power, Tiago over there does great work. I'll leave links, check him out. He uh, posted this. This is from the Nordic Optical Telescope from November 11th. David Jewett and Jane Eu caught this, and they say that the, the so-called jet here on the left is pointing toward the sun. And I don't even know what to make of this. With, with all this darkness below, a front central light that seems to be completely disconnected from the rest of this whole thing. It's just weird and wild. And then the image on the right was also shared by Tiago. His friend Chris caught this off an eight, eight inch reflector telescope in Texas. If you guys capture any images, please let me know, dabu7 at yahoo.com. I'll make sure to share them, get them out there, so we can analyze them and see what we're, we're working with, see what this thing really is. This thing has defied all odds. The question marks remain, and for an object that they said was potentially just disintegrating, it's still there. So, will the government release any images? Will they open? They're looking like they will. Will we get these images, and how long will it be? All yet to be seen, but as soon as we get them, I'll be taking a look at them. And make sure to join me for the live streams where I'm talking about this in greater detail. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Tabu 77. Much love and eyes to the skies.